Russell Brand allegations are leading to renewed scrutiny of the endemic bullying and harassment in the TV industry. The presenter, comedian, and actor Russell Brand is at the center of a joint investigation by The Times, The Sunday Times and Channel 4 Dispatches, which has reported allegations of abuse made against him by four women, which include emotional abuse, sexual assault, and rape. Brand has denied these allegations, saying his relationships have been always consensual, and they have not been tested in any court of law. However, this investigation focuses attention on a problem at the heart of the culture of the UK's television industry. According to the investigation, many of the allegations were born out of what TV industry insiders describe as a working culture that tolerates, even facilitates, the abuse of power by its talent. A runner on one of Brand's shows, interviewed for the Channel 4 film, recalls a colleague's response on hearing of Brand's behavior, girls, girls. You know, it's what happens with the talent. Boys will be boys. These allegations are only the most recent in a seemingly endless stream of high-profile incidents dating back to 2012 and the uncovering of historic abuse by the broadcaster Jimmy Seville. This scandal is clearly referenced in Dispatch's documentary's title, Russell Brand, in plain sight, Seville was described across the media at the time as having hidden in plain sight. There have been many efforts at industry reform since 2012. However, we continue to see regular revelations of alleged bad behavior, from accusations leveled at staff at Gogglebox to complaints often abuses are all too conveniently attributed to a few bad apples. Yet the reality is that bullying and harassment are endemic in the UK television industry. We found this in a survey we conducted in 2021 of nearly 1,200 television professionals. A staggering 93% of respondents had experienced or witnessed bullying or harassment at work during their careers. The film and television charity's 2022 report on mental health in the industry supports these findings, with nearly half of respondents reporting personal experience of bullying, harassment or discrimination in the previous 12 months. Brand may or may not ultimately be found to be a bad apple but he's prominent in an industry where such alleged cases, as recent interviewees in the media have attested to, are often open secrets and accepted as part of the nature of the work. Bullying and abuse as systemic problems in UK television. Our research suggests that the problem is structural and systemic. Research in organizational behavior shows that certain characteristics of work increase the likelihood of bad behavior. It is more likely to happen where workloads are high and mentally demanding. It is more likely where roles are not well defined or where people are constantly asked to balance conflicting demands. It is common where teams are working under pressure to tight schedules, where lines of communication are unclear and critically where job insecurity makes workers reluctant to report concerns. All of these circumstances characterize current working conditions in UK television.